Hi everyone, this is another one update I would like to share with you. Now, this is the positive lead of our input power and it's connected to the wire of the cons, okay? The negative part of the input, it's floating, it's not connected to anything. I believe if you ground it, you will have better result, but right now I couldn't ground it. Now, the output, we take it from the central rods, which are not connected to the cones. They are insulated, they have a grommets here. There is no conductivity of this and the cones. So the central rods, they connect with the circuit inside, but the circuit and the cones, they are not connected in the conductive way. So we're taking the output from here, from the top, and also from the bottom of the cone. And then we create something like a bridge rectifier in a sense, where the negative um, from our output is this way, and the positive it's on the other way. I know that there are many things here, but for some of you who uh, also have experience, it won't be so confusing. So I have connect oscilloscope from the negative and positive. I connect also the DMM to measure in parallel the voltage to see uh, if they are measuring similar results. And also one of the cups leads, it's grounded. This is ground, okay? This is a ground. All right, and also we have connected an LED, five watts, 12 volts. There are 48 LEDs here. We connect it to this side of the capacitors. Those are Zener diodes rated for 42 volts maximum. So they will rectify in a sense the higher frequency into DC current and they will feed it inside this um, LED. So this experiment is not to show power levels, but just to show how many different spots the power can be transferred from the central circuit, uh, which is inside here, from the central circuit, it's transferred to the cones through inductance, through resonance. Now we're going to start with four volts. This is a sine wave this time, 20, um, uh, 20 kilohertz, where we're gonna start. And you will see that the voltage here and here, the DC, it will rise up if we reach a resonant point. So let, let's, okay, okay, now it's 9.5 volts and 9.3 volts here. The LED, it's barely flashing, but we're going to increase the frequency and see what the LED will do. Now we see more, brighter, 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 brighter. We're looking for much brighter Okay, here we have here we have a resonance, the first spot. Now this is a 260 a kilohertz. Uh, the oscilloscope is measuring 11.2 volts. Here it's 10.6 volts. The DMM, uh, DMM, and the, the LED is flashing like that. Okay, this is the brightness. So we continue to rise up the frequency. You can see the LED is going down, dimmer, and we're going to reach another one spot here, which is uh, 400, 400, 390, 390, um, 390 kHz. At that point, we have on the oscilloscope 12 volts, and the DMM is a little bit less, it's 11 volts. It's normal, I believe, to have a slightly uh, a slight difference. So this is the brightness of the LED. Now, if I continue to rise the frequency, you see that we go out of resonance, the LED is going down. And um, yeah, here is another one spot. Okay, here is another one spot. It's 530 kilohertz. Again, here it's 10.6 volts. Here it's 10.8 volts. And I will continue to rise up the frequency. The, the LED is going down and now we approach another one. So here is 700, one second, 770, 770 kilohertz. We have here 12.5 volts on the oscilloscope. Here we have 11 volts almost on the DMM and you can see the LED is bright. Uh, it's very bright now. Uh, if I continue to rise up this frequency, the LED again is going down, the brightness, 
uh, okay but we're going to approach another one threshold where this power transfer will occur so there are many different spots like a sweet spots here we have some kind of but it's not so strong okay here we have another one again here it's 11 volts and uh, here is 10.6 volts on the oscilloscope and the resonant frequency here it's uh, 1 megahertz 1.6 megahertz almost 1.6 megahertz okay and we have a pretty bright led uh, if i continue to rise up the frequency the power transfer diminished you can see the led is going down and it's passing through these different uh, sweet spots different thresholds but there are so many this means that there is a wide band uh, of resonant frequency. There are many resonant frequency. So, uh, and we're, when we're using the LED, we can see literally, visually, because the current and the voltage, uh, when they when they multiply, they create the power. Look, now, now again, it's uh, 2.77 megahertz. Again, we have 10.4 volts, 10.5, and here we have also 10.5 six seven volts so you can see if i continue to rise up the frequency you see the led it's it's going it's going out of resonance no power it's transferred there's so many sweet spots that power can be transferred and so many different frequencies uh, some of them are a little bit better other not so much but there's so many sweet spots and and above that there, there is no much resonance above uh, four megahertz there is not so much resonance you can see the led it's barely flashing now right here in the higher frequency um it's almost it's almost um not working at all you know so this is what i would like to share that there are so many different sweet spots there's so many resonant frequencies at, at which the power can be transferred between the central circuit which is inside the cones and the cones by themselves we're running the input on the cones and we're taking the output from the central circuit which is not connected in the conductive way so thank you for watching and i will see you later to, to share with you how you can uh, can make these cons and how much will cost and what exactly materials do you need to construct them. See you later.